It's such a beautiful day out today. I decided to film in my sunniest room and low-key also wanted to show off my new countertop because I just got these done. I can show you guys the transformation in another video, but I just wanted to sit here and enjoy my sunniest room and my beautiful countertops and share with you guys an incredible new release from the house of M. Mikalev. For those of you guys who are new here and just getting to know me, my name is Yana and this is The Scented. So most of the time we talk about fragrances, we discover new fragrances together and go on all sorts of scented adventures. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure to head on down and hit the big red button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video and let's unbox this incredible new fragrance. I've been anticipating this release from M. Mikalev. It's been teasing me on Instagram for the longest time. Now I finally have a bottle and let's unbox this beauty together. I'm so excited to try it, you guys. This is gonna be the first time that I'm spraying it. I know that this is gonna be fabulous. I checked the notes and they look amazing. The top notes consist of pink pepper, bergamot, and tangerine. In the middle, there's jasmine, coriander, and neroli. And in the base, patchouli, musk, and vanilla. This is a unisex fragrance. It's supposed to evoke the impression of a waterfall. So let's spray it and find out what it smells like. Should I spray it on skin right away or should I spray it on paper? I think I'm gonna go for the skin. Immediately I smell the pink pepper. I would guess that there's oak moss in here. I definitely pick up that patchouli. It's not too floral, it's brisk, and it, it reminds me a lot of Christian Dior's The Private Collection, Gris Dior. I think if you like Gris Dior, you will absolutely love this one. It smells so similar. It smells incredibly, incredibly similar. So just off the bat, very fresh and peppery with a similar style to Gris Dior, but more peppery. And I definitely pick up that coriander. I'm not getting any jasmine. I'm not getting any neroli. And this is certainly a unisex scent. So what I'm going to do now after this first impression, now that I've sprayed it, I gave it a good three sprays. Why don't we give it a few more since I'm not wearing any fragrance today. The scent of the day is going to be Eden Falls. Eh, why not one more? Okay. By the way, quick side note, you can dab your fragrance, but it's not a good idea to rub it. So when you put a fragrance on, I like to just do a simple dab no rubbing, no rubbing here. I know a lot of my coworkers like to rub everywhere and I always tell them not to. And if you're watching, you know who you are. Don't rub your fragrance, only dab. So we're gonna give it 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna regroup with you guys and I'm gonna report back and I'm gonna let you know my first impression, more so in-depth review after wearing it for a little while longer. Instead of just the first spray and giving you the idea, I'm gonna wear it a little while longer. I'll let you know what it smells like. So let's regroup in a few. Peppy, how did you get up there? Okay, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes that I've had Eden Falls on my wrists. And I think I have a really good idea of what this fragrance smells like now. So it does still have a strong vibe of Christian Dior's Gris Dior. And it's more of a like peppery, herbaceous, almost version of it. They're not like dupe dupes, but it's like, if you enjoy Greedy Dior, you certainly will enjoy Eden Falls. And I kind of wish that I hadn't purchased the bottle of Greedy Dior because they are similar enough that you don't actually need both. But 
they're both incredible fragrances. However, the Eden Falls is like a brighter, fresher version, more peppery, more citrusy. It's less about the moss, like the way that Greed Dior has moss and it's more earthy. This isn't so earthy. It's more citrusy. It's more herbaceous. You really do get that coriander and the pepper. I really love it. It is actually such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance and it doesn't at all meet what I expected it to smell like because this bottle, it makes it look like it would be aquatic. It makes it look like there would be more of like watery accords. It doesn't like the, the bottle itself doesn't really represent what the fragrance is. It's not aquatic, but it is very calming. It has a certain um, quality about it that's very soothing and comforting and grounded so I really love this release it's like it doesn't smell like a waterfall but it almost smells like being near a waterfall like being in that rocky beach area and well not a beach just the rocky area around a waterfall standing near it and the feeling that you get being near a waterfall is what this smells like so it's not like a realistic representation of a waterfall in any way and i don't think that's what it's intended to be it's actually it's meant to be a calming meditative fragrance and they've 100 percent succeeded with that i think it's such a gorgeous release i can't comment on longevity because obviously i haven't worn it long enough so i don't know how long it lasts or how far it projects but first impression wise i'm really really happy i think that it's gonna be a staple in my collection i'm sure you guys are gonna see it in videos to come they really do some incredible incredible fragrances the house of m nicolas so this one is definitely worth checking out also the bottle itself is really beautiful it's actually fully hand painted and it's a work of art in and of itself i think it's just so beautifully presented. I'm really honored to get to try it. So that is my first impressions review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to comment down below and let me know what your favorite fragrance from the house of M. Mikalef is. And let me know if you guys want to see a video of my kitchen transformation. I know it's completely unrelated, but I can show you if you're interested. And I'm just absolutely loving my new countertops and how bright my kitchen looks. And with that, we're going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.